Hi, my name is Jason Kim and I'm the Director of Metering Solution Sales for Leviton Manufacturing. And we're here outside our New York facility, which also happens to be LEED accredited. Today we're here to talk to you about the Leviton Metering Solution, which provides great energy management benefits for our customers. The solution is easy to get installed, easy to get up and running, and most of all, easy to use. So let's go inside and we'll show you a little bit about the solution that we've installed. As you know, facilities use a tremendous amount of electricity, and with today's prices, these costs are continuing to rise. Facility and energy managers are looking for tools to better understand not only how much, but when and where energy is used within a facility. The Leviton metering solution is comprised of three components, individual electric submeters, the energy management hub, and the energy manager software. Let's look at each one of these components individually. The first component is our electric submeters. Leviton provides a broad range of submeters depending on the application. Our mini meter is an economical kilowatt hour meter designed for residential and multifamily application. Our series 1000 and 2000 meters are truly the workhorse of the Leviton metering line. They provide kilowatt hour and an optional peak demand functionality, which are essential to today's commercial metering market. Our series 3000 meter is our smart meter and provides data logging and advanced meter data. It's designed to communicate and interface with today's most advanced energy management and building automation solutions. Our Series 2000 meter has been installed at our Leviton New York facility. Let's go meet the facility manager and take a closer look at the submetering installation. Now that we've seen the submeter installation, let's take a look at our second key component in our Leviton metering solution, the Energy Management Hub. The Energy Management Hub provides data collection for meters installed at a property. The hub can interface with Leviton energy meters along with other previously installed electric, gas, water meters that may be found on the property. The interface collects, formats, and stores data for use by the Leviton Energy Manager software or other energy management platforms. The hub utilizes all open protocols to share data such as Modbus, HTTP push, FTP, and file formats such as CSV or text files. It's a web-based system that allows access to the data 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The third element of the Leviton Energy Manager is our powerful web or cloud-based software solution. Once the meters and hub are installed, the hub then pushes interval or every 15 minute data to the Leviton managed server in near real time. From any web-based computer, users can log on to levitonenergymanager.com and sign in with a, their username and password. The software is easy to navigate and provides simple, intuitive reporting to determine where energy savings can be found. Once we're logged in, users can step through a number of different reports. The energy analysis reports are canned reports, easy to use and designed to get users up and running and looking at data right away. Mostly time-based, we look at things like a real-time report, daily, weekly, monthly, annual. We can even do some comparison and look at things like weekly profile and monthly profile. Let me take you through a couple of these reports. We'll start with the real-time report. Come in, we'll choose one individual meter and we'll create our report. The real-time reports looking at data for today in what we consider near real-time or every 15-minute data. We can see we've got KW along the left-hand axis, 15-minute intervals along the bottom, and a cost along the right-hand axis represented by the white trend line. You can see we're breaking energy usage between night and day, or we can create custom time-of-use periods to signify off-peak, on-peak, summer, shoulder, or any custom time-of-use period. Also down at the bottom is a table representing the usage, percentage, peak demand, time and date of peak demand, as well as total cost for this period, again, what happens to be in real time. Jump up to a monthly report and look at total energy consumption for this particular meter for the month. And as I do that, you can see navigating the solution is very intuitive, 
Again, all web-based, being easy to access data. Here's our total building consumption for the month of August. Total kilowatt hours on the left-hand side, each day along the bottom axis, and again, total cost on the right-hand side. If we scroll down, we can look at maximum demand on the left-hand side, minimum demand on the right-hand side, same table worth of data below. The table data can be easily exported to Excel using a one-button click export data function at the top. Also, hover on any point will show us our total consumption by date or whatever time period we happen to be on. We can also drill into the data further if we wanted to look at what the interval data was for August 8th. We can click on the day and we're down into the 15 minute intervals. Again, very easy to use. We look at a comparison report. We can take any two meters, compare them to itself. We can compare a meter to another meter. So we'll just run a quick daily comparison between, let's say, the last three Tuesdays of the month. Perhaps we made a chiller start strategy or some type of operational strategy change and we wanted to see what the consumption differentials were. You can see in this, the consumption patterns were very similar with a, with a, with a small spike here at 6.45 in the morning. Each line represents a different day. Again, total consumption represented by the table down below. From our energy analysis, we can step up to our advanced reports, which are reports that can be customized slightly and then saved so users can come back and access them again and again. We'll take you through a couple examples, such as carbon reports, carbon emissions reports. So we can set up carbon emissions report based on the local carbon footprint of the utility and what their carbon mix is and fuel mix is. We can also take into account any brown-green mix if the user is buying energy. You can see we've got uh, carbon emissions both by CO2 and carbon in a nice table and graph format. We can also look at an energy center report. It allows us to look at individual loads broken down in another graphical format showing, in this case, our differential between plug loads, lighting, air conditioner, chillers, and air handling units. Every point in the graph has a natural drill down that we can drill down to the next level so we can look at, once we look at our chillers as our largest usage, then we can begin to drill into the chillers, see our days that have the highest consumption, and drill into these days down into the 15 minute interval. Again, making the, the solution very easy to navigate, very intuitive, uh, very easy to drive. Multimeter report allows us to look at different loads all compared um, next to each other. So we've got individual usages here on lighting, plug load, chillers, and we can also look at things stacked as a total. Again, table with a graph with the data down below that we can export to Excel. Also part of the system is an alarms package, which allows us to set thresholds on any metering point and send email or SMS text message alarms. So for instance, Perhaps we'd like to set a, an alarm based on, say, 80% of the peak demand for a given facility. Once we've hit that peak demand, we'd like to get an email out to a user. We can choose which days we'd like that alarm to happen on, which months, certain times of the day, what that value is, who the email is going to go out to, and what the message is going to be. That way we can be really looking at energy proactively. We can start getting information as it's happening versus waiting for the utility bill to come in. We can also create virtual meters, and virtual meters allow us to take metering points and do addition and subtraction to them, so we can create a point that we can report against or graph against without actually having a physical metering point installed. In this case, we'll take total tenant load, which is total building consumption minus the lighting load, and it'll give us that point to be able to report on, therefore making best use of the data that we have. So there you have it, the Leviton metering solution. It's a great way to save energy and money in any commercial or industrial facility. Thanks for watching and have a great day.